played apparently. Roy in this game. He doesn't play Falco? Falco's no. like better even though he's bad. <laughs> but so, game one going to go to Pokemon Stadium. I feel like this is kind of like the true neutral of this game. Like everyone I feel like goes here. Like I actually started to strike it, yeah. but, that, but not, that makes me a heathen. So, and I'm aware of that. <laughs> Like, it's like, oh, Star Stadium, I'm like, no, I'm striking it. Everyone goes, looks at me like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I think on the match slips, they did uh, some stats on it, and Pokemon Stadium 2 got, oh, yeah, 60-something percent. Yeah. Ooh, I like that pivot cancel F tilt. It's one of the rare instances of a over-centralizing tactic that's not broken. You know, that's so. not Smashville. Yeah. <laughs> uh, moving into this match around Pokemon Stadium 2, CD doing some, yeah, uh, actually getting caught on his heels a little bit. Syro putting in a lot of work. Yeah. Opening up. Fox can struggle sometimes. Like, yes, he's, he has blinding speed, and so sometimes he doesn't struggle to get in, but when the characters have good hitboxes that can kind of wall him out, he will a little bit struggle to get in, but once he does, he will still do that mad damage. Like, Roy being a fast faller, yeah. he's going to take so much damage from any of Fox's combos, but he, ZD really hasn't been able to get any started, so we're going to look for... I was going to I was gonna say four tilts or jab up airs. Uh, so Syro taking the first stock. ZD rushing in with that Nair to try to, like, return the favor. Probably going to go for an F smash. Oh, no, goes for an up smash on the jump. Read that B-reverse. Neutral be actually what ZD lost to against Mr. R. Uh, All right, taking a page out of yeah, uh, Rami's five. book. Showing that Roy can do it too, not just Chrome. And yeah, Cy uh, Cyro putting in so Ooh. much work. Yeah, so I like far, CD still hasn't taken this stock. Yeah, there it is, as soon as on cue, yeah. as soon as I said it. Of course, it always happens like <laughs> that, right? That's a, but if you're if you're Cyro trying to make an upset, 57% is right where you would want to be if you asked. Yeah, at the beginning of the set, would you want to be up a stock uh, 57%? Of course. Okay, of course. Yeah. yeah, I'll take it. You will always take the lead. Jab. Ooh, I actually going to read the air dodge and get the grab afterwards instead of the guaranteed follow-up. Maybe awkward spacing for the follow-up. I don't know Roy super, super well, so I don't know if that was the case. But back air? Sometimes people throw out the safety jabs, and they're not sure it's actually going to hit. Oh, fair foot oh, stool. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh okay. he's alive. He's because, living. yeah, the fire had to, the in order for Fox to recover, he had to hit that because he couldn't do a slight angle because otherwise he would have gone on stage. Down right. smash, unfortunately for Syro, going to be the sour spot, and that side B, actually ZD missing the upper. That's a really rare miss for him. Oh, goes for the trump, doesn't hit its mark, though. Oh, but oh, gets the uh, sweet spot. Sweet whatever spot. that move is called. <laughs> it's not Flare Blade. It's, it's Double Edge Dance, yeah. I think. That move is busted. All right, this is Shibby Stock. I like that Nair to try to get a little bit more damage, but unfortunately not going to be quite enough for the stock. Roy, slightly on the heavier side and also a fast faller, so he's not going to die quite as vertically, but will die horizontally, so 18% now. So the lead slightly cut by ZD, but still in Cyro's advantage. It's got to be a rough set over, or a rough game overall for ZD so far. He's been having to play from behind the entire time. But seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, taking the lead, finally coming into this last stock. Oh, goes for the rapid side B. Uh, gonna miss its mark. Random F smash. I feel like Cyro's kind of like choking just a little bit of just like, oh man, I was so close to being this player and I want to maintain the lead. And then of course he's not. And ZD, one of the best parriers in the business, gonna react to that tech, get some more damage, follow up, so dash grab. And that's gonna be a tech chase. Nope, reading the roll in, didn't get it. Ooh, the weak bear, almost, I expected a forward air to come. Yeah, I thought he got the edge guard coming Ooh. out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, getting super greedy for those F smashes. I mean, he swung out two of them, did rapid side B, a few other questionable options that he just wanted to like end the game right then and there. Didn't get into ZD. The thing about ZD, one of his best attributes as a player, because like, I mean, I would consider him like a top, a pretty easy like top 15 contender at the yeah. very least. Like I would probably say in top 15, but somewhere in that region, right? Because right? like wins over Zachary and like Nairo, and no, almost beat Nairo, sorry. And Ally and a couple other players. Um, oh, Tweak this weekend, obviously. Right. Uh, and taking a bunch of other players to game five is he always just play, he performs he doesn't play bad he just kind of plays the same all the time and he maybe the slightly rise higher to him. yeah but so like uh, he just he never really gets nervous he never really like chooses panic options he's just like no I'm just gonna like play better than you and for the most part he does and it kind of proved in that game as uh, he just solided out that victory and already with a slot like already doing a little bit better because uh, he got <laughs> hits first so that's kind of nice and on the flip side you had Syro who was doing so well at the beginning of the game and as soon as the you know, as soon as ZD put the pressure on and brought himself into the lead, the Wait, wheel sort of came off and he had a lot of panic options coming out. F throw? Down smash? That was weird. And it worked. And I'm confused. Roy's <laughs> broken. Uh, yeah, so, ooh, nice parry, but re recognized it was the first upper, so knew that he had to hold shield again. That side B always pops people up now. It's so good. Ooh, up smash out of shield. Yeah, ZD loves up smash out of shield. It's, I mean, it's such a strong option, so fast. Like, why wouldn't you do it, right? Right. Nairing the jump, because of course a lot of people want to jump or roll out of the corner. Everyone's kind of learned that rolling out of the corner is a bad idea, so everyone just tries to jump. But it allows people. Oh! Fastest up smash in the, uh, in the east, not the west. <laughs> yeah. But from the east, uh, out here, out west, and it puts that uh, puts that stock away. Ooh, he's looking so counter. good. Much better than the uh, first game. Just confirm control now. 
Oh, I love that Nair. Probably, probably tried to hit Syro out of his double jump. Uh, that would have killed. But, uh, you know, I don't know if the foot school is guaranteed in this game. I'm not 100% sure because foxes don't do it too often. Right. I think if it's guaranteed, they throw that out nonstop. <laughs> I mean, they kind of do still. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but Syro just struggling in this neutral. I feel like he's just kind of... Instead of like playing a strong neutral tool, he's just kind of guessing, and ZD is not a man to guess. He's just going to throw out his strong options, his nair, his back air, his dash attack, and he's going to get so much damage off of it, and is now two stocks up. Yeah, right around the second stock of the last game, the download was complete, and ZD is right on top, and Ooh. so comfortable. Fake Trump, that was nice. Gets the forward tilt, first stock Syro, 4-4 four, four Syro. Uh, let's see if he can kind of bring this back. Anti-air jab into the up tilt. Oh, but that nair safe on shield. Or definitely at least safe to shield grab, especially even if it's a high. Okay, tries to breathe it with a down tilt, doesn't get it. ZD forward smash randomly in neutral. Read the jump. Tries to down smash the two frame because his legs are invincible, so it does. Uh, it's a bit disjointed. And an empty jump onto the platform to follow up, and there's no rest for Syro. He's, it's red alert. He's on last stock at kill percents now. Any neutral air is probably going to be the one to do it. Yeah, especially with that extra back air damage now, it's for sure going to kill. So Syro has to be incredibly careful, and ZD just playing his game. He's so comfortable in this position. Like he will react to anything. He'll jump. He just kind of plays super patient too. Like he doesn't really worry about landing that up smash because that down tilt jump read into up air is going to take it to advance him into top eight winners where he's going to have to play K9. That like, he gets that jump read so often because again, people really stopped trying to air dodge in disadvantage in this game just right. because a lot of people started punishing like really, really heavily. Like they're always waiting for it. So now people like to jump, but characters that can get up there like Palu, like Fox, like Falco, uh, like even like Pika at some level can just kind of get up there, mm -hmm. hit the opponent for trying to do that jump. And uh, I know that ZD clutched a set against uh, Sweet T this week, and he was down 2-0. And game three had that read and got him that game, and then carried the momentum pretty much the entire set. Yeah, the heartbreaker. So, yeah. <laughs> the heartbreaker game three. <laughs> yeah, that was the. I mean, that was like because against uh, that was the three out of five, so that was the right. reverse. That was the start of a reverse 3-0 yeah. by ZD. But uh, you know, taking it there, Fox. Fox is a pretty good character. For sure, and I think speaking of uh, Sweet D, uh, say the name and he shall appear. Um, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's Sweet D, and then I, f I always forget that that's his tag because uh, uh, I'm just used to his old tag. <laughs> NC Jacob D. I yeah. Finally learned he last changed night what the uh, what the NC stood for. Uh. He changed. He changed his tag and he switched off of Pikachu. So, how dare you, Sweet T? <laughs> Play Pikachu. He's busted, and I do not recognize that other person, unfortunately. Uh, I'm the worst. Hey. Hey, hey. Sweet T, uh, of course, plays, plays Pokemon Pichu. Trainer. Or he plays Pichu. Pichu. I know he plays, he plays Pichu and Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, 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 Pokemon Trainer. He just needs to play Pikachu because Pikachu's <laughs> busted. Anyway, while you're here, everyone, please do not forget to hit that follow button that's above us. Go do that. They stream. How often does 2GG stream tournaments? Pretty much every day. Three times Monday, a week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Wait, do you stream? <clears throat> do you stream Wednesday Night Fights? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, so we have MSM, Hat, Wednesday Night Fights, and then we do our online tournament on Thursday. Yeah, so a lot of Smash action on this channel. Please do not forget to check it out. Uh, so we got kids. Oh, wait. Is he the one I played in pool? 